Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. It means everything to me. Before we get started, I just wanted to say to everybody that has been reaching out to me, showing me support, I appreciate you so much. When I tell you I appreciate you, I truly, truly mean it. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Please leave me a comment. Please leave me a like. It would mean so much to me. You guys are just the best. And I thank you, thank you, thank you. Tristan Hope Dilly was born on October 3rd, 2002 to parents Bonnie Kuhn and Philip Dilly. At the time of her death, Tristan was a freshman at Silsby High School, where she was a cheerleader. She was also involved in a number of various sports, including volleyball, track, softball, and basketball. She was described by others as very kind, sweet, and compassionate. Tristan was dating this boy, 19-year-old Paul Audrey Adams. It is said that their relationship was kept a secret because of the age difference. According to phone records and emails, the two had planned to meet on October 1st, 2017. Tristan would be found dead in her bed at her mother's home by her brother with a gunshot wound to her head. Adams was quickly identified as a suspect and phone records would lead police to a rural location near an irrigation canal. Once there, they would find Adams' car and a tent set up. When police went to approach Adams, he would take his own life with a single gunshot wound to the head. When police searched Adams' car and tent, they found an ax, a machete, two hatchets, four camping knives, 32 meal rations, four cases of water, four burlap sacks, duct tape, a human anatomy book, and eight sets of handcuffs. They also found a very lengthy suicide note that read, I know what you're thinking, but I didn't kill her. I loved Tristan with all my heart. I know we shouldn't have snuck around, but I also know she's 14 and I am 19, but that did not matter to us. We cared about each other deeply. It was her birthday soon and we just wanted to see each other. When I got to her house, everything was fine for a few hours, but then we heard someone come in. We thought it was her parents, but it was some man. He looked to be in his mid fifties, wore blue jeans and a Boston Red Sox cap. Thinking it was her parents, I hid in the bathroom, but I realized it wasn't her parents when Tristan started screaming. I didn't see what happened, but I believe she was assaulted because she kept screaming for him to get off of her and I just stood by. I wanted to try to help her, but he was threatening her with a gun. I knew if I tried anything, he would shoot me too. But if I knew now what I knew after it all happened, I would gave my life to try and save her. Now this has all happened. I feel it will just be better to end my life. I can't live knowing I was too much of a coward to do anything about it. I don't even know Tristan's parents' names, but I am so sorry this happened. I'd do anything to go back and stop him if I could. Mom, I love you with all my heart. You are the best mom anyone could ask for. I wish I could have finished college and got a job with good family, but now things will never be the same. I feel they will hold me responsible. And after watching so many shows of lockup, I'd rather die than be locked up in a cage my whole life. I have so many questions as well. Why did this happen to us? But I guess the universe is full of surprises. Yes, I am scared to die, but the alternative to staying alive seems hopeless. I just hope my death is quick. I believe Tristan died instantly. I just remember hearing two shots and then silence. When I looked in her room, all I could see was a perfect still body and a huge puddle of blood. I didn't know what to do besides run, but even running from something like this was useless. My only wish is to be cremated, and I want all my possessions to go to my parents. I know people will think that I killed her or I was responsible for letting it happen, but I know what happened. I felt like a drop of water in all the oceans. I wanted to scream, but no words could come out. It was as if the breath was knocked out of me. I don't believe him. Not one bit. That's just me. Let me know what you think. I don't even kind of believe him. Police will likely never know the true motive behind the killings. Neither of the teen's parents knew about the relationship so a star-crossed lover scenario has been ruled out. Tristan was killed two days before her 15th birthday. Okay, guys, that's sadly all I have for this one. 
So many questions that will never be answered. Please keep this family in your thoughts and prayers. Let me know what your take is on this. Do you think that he did it? Do you believe his story about the man coming into the room and him hiding in the bathroom? Let me know. I'm super interested to hear your thoughts. If you haven't liked, subscribed, or commented yet, please do so. It helps me out, especially because I'm so small. It would mean so much to me. And until next time. Girl Tristan Dilly found dead at her stepfather's home in Buna Sunday evening. Her stepfather says Dilly had been shot in the head. 12 News reporter Jackie Massey sat down with a grief-stricken teenager who says she was Dilly's best friend at Buna High School. She's always happy and she always has a smile on her face. And she's so, she's so goofy. Since seventh grade at Buna High School, Maddie Martin and Tristan Dilly were attached at the hip. The two enjoyed fixing each other's makeup and taking fun selfies. Tristan transferred to Silsby High School a year ago, where she became a member of the JV cheerleading squad. But the girls still stayed in touch. Maddie was planning a big surprise birthday party for Tristan tomorrow. Well, I was going to keep it surprised, but I'm not very good at that, so I still told her. <laughs> But now Maddie will spend her best friend's birthday mourning her loss. Tristan's stepfather, Joe Scott, told us off camera that he came back home Sunday evening, then checked on Tristan in her room and thought she was asleep. He didn't realize Tristan was dead until her younger brother turned on the lights and saw blood. It was just, I was mind blown. I just, I didn't know what to think. I just panicked. Jasper County officials found the body of a person of interest who took his own life in Orange County, near a canal just south of I-10 on FM 1135. Deputies have not released his name but are investigating to see if there's a connection to Tristan's death. Meanwhile, Tristan's friends continue to mourn her loss. At Silsby High School, there was a nice memorial display on her desk. Maddie says she wishes she had her friend back. Uh, I love her and... Thank her for being there for me, being a great friend. In Buna, Jackie Massey, 12 News.